happy fall, y'all. I couldn't resist. Had to say it. Had to say happy fall, y'all. I don't know why that amused me, but it did. So, <laughs> anyway, it is indeed fall, despite the fact that my uh, car says right now that it's 81 degrees. We're going to focus on the fact that it is fall. So I want to make a video to, for you today about fall candles. Um, a couple of you had asked about how I know which scents to pick and that type thing. You say that when you go in the store, it's overwhelming, and it is, I mean, it is. By the time you smell this and smell that, you get a headache and you don't remember what you're smelling and they all smell alike in the store and it's kind of hard. So. What I've done is just found some favorites through the years, and um, sometimes it is trial and error. Sometimes you do buy one that you think you're going to like, and you get it home and it's too strong, or you get it home and you can barely smell it. So it is a little bit of a trial and error. Um, Bath and Body Works does say that they will take back any candle that you're not happy with, so that's good to keep in mind. Um, that if you do get one home that it's just not what you thought it would be, you can take it back and exchange it. So that's a nice um, little safety net there, um, especially since the candles can be expensive. I always try to buy mine uh, on sale. I try to never pay full price for them because they do go on sale pretty frequently. Um, you just kind of have to keep a watch. And a lot of times I will order online and um, our Bath & Body store is just not super conveniently located so it's easier for me to just kind of watch online and when they go on sale just go ahead and order a couple that I like. Usually I order in threes because they'll have them on sale for $12.50 and then they'll also include a lot of times a $10 off of $30. So you order three candles, you get your $10 off and that's a really, a really good deal. Which makes me enjoy them a lot more because I don't have to feel guilty when I burn them. So I'm going to get that video made for you uh, later today. I am taking my laptop back to Best Buy. If you have never heard me say this, if you've never heard me say this on my blog, you've never read my blog, I have an HP Pavilion laptop. And from about the week after the warranty ran out, it has given me trouble. Best Buy with the Geek Squad. I think this is the sixth or seventh, maybe the eighth time and I don't really even think they know what's wrong with it. I mean, they do a quick fix, which is nice, but then boom, in a month's time, I'm headed back to Best Buy again. So, that's what I'm doing today, and I hope I get that fixed. Um, I'm really excited about fall, and really want to get some fall blog posts, and blogs, and videos made, so I really need my laptop so I can do that for y'all. And um, so I just wanted to pop in and tell you what's going on and hope you're having a great day. Okay, so I took my laptop and I don't think they know what's wrong with it either. Um, so they told me how to do like a network reset. Of course that fixed it inside the store. So we will see if that fixes it when I'm at home. So they told me to try that, try the network reset um, if that does not work, if, that, if it continues to have a problem, I can get an external Wi-Fi and apparently it plugs in just like a thumb drive. So that's an option. Um, if that works, then we know maybe the Wi-Fi connector, Wi-Fi connection, something in the computer has gone bad. But if that does not work, then we know the problem is with the actual laptop itself. And if that is the case, we go to step number three, where I would have to save everything off of my hard drive and then bring it to them and they will completely wipe it clean and um, like restore the factory settings back to the way it was when I bought it. So, I'm not sure I really wanna go that route. So let's hope step one or step two solves our problem. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about what I got in Target. Of course, I went in Target. You know, if there's one close, I'm going to go inside, so I did. So, pumpkin spice latte, <laughs> of course. So, that was my first stop inside Target was to hit Starbucks. Um, I got a pack of the Lint 
um, milk chocolate pumpkin spice truffles. Did I need them? No. But did I get them? Yes. So I got that. And um, found these. These were new. They're Werther's Original Pumpkin Spice Caramels. So I thought those would be a nice little treat just to stick inside my purse. So when I'm out and about and want just a little sweet treat, got that. And then the last pumpkin spice goodie I got was the pumpkin spice covered pretzels. I had those last year and I picked up another pack for this year. Also got from the little um, dollar spot some planner filler pages. I liked how these have the days of the week broken down where you can write your to-do list on them. So I thought I'd try a pack of those. Um, it includes 52 weekly pages, 12 monthly pages, and 40 note sheets. So that's what the notes looks like. And then that's the little days of the week pages that I liked. So I thought I would try those. So that was what I got at Target. Not too much, just a little bit. So now I'm going to make a quick peek inside Kirkland's. Probably haven't been in Kirkland's since last fall. <laughs> so I thought I would pop in there really quick before I head back home. Okay, y'all. I'm out of Kirkland's. And I just made one little purchase. When I walked in the door, the lady gave me a 20% off coupon. So couldn't let that go to waste. So I got a little pumpkin. He's a little cutie little galvanized metal pumpkin got the little leaf on top how cute is he so I think I'm gonna put him on my little table that hubby built me that you haven't seen yet but hopefully you will see it soon when it gets all finished so that's all I got in Kirkland's today I used restraint they had such cute stuff lots of cotton cotton wreaths cotton chair hangers oh my goodness the cotton chair hangers were so cute they were about this big around little cotton wreaths the hang on the back of each one of your chairs <sighs> so cute I think they were $11 each yeah I have six dining room chairs mm -mm, not doing it not doing it if I did spend the money on them they probably would become toys for the puppies in under a day so probably wise that I did not get those <laughs> anyway so I ended up with my one little pumpkin and he's a cutie so I'm happy with that and now I guess I'm gonna head home so I'll talk hello again <laughs> watch her be quiet I'm here today to talk about some of my favorite things fall candles from Bath and Body Works and Rue, of course. <laughs> and Rue, of course. You all know how I feel about fall. You know how I feel about pumpkin. You know how I feel about candles. So we're here today to put all that together. So let's get started. One of my favorites is autumn. Autumn smells really nice. Love the top of the candle. I'm not sure if you can see the pumpkin. I think that's so pretty. Um, all of these candles are from Bath and Body Works, and this the scent on this one is Red Gala Apple, Juicy Fig, Eucalyptus Leaf, and Fur Bal Balsam. Fur Balsam? Balsam? Anyway, a fur tree, I think it's right. <laughs> I butchered that. So the apple, uh, the fig, the eucalyptus leaf, and fur, B-A-L-S-A-M, balsam. Probably should have looked that up. All right, my second favorite to share with you today is pumpkin apple. Again, it has the pretty pumpkin on the lid. And of course, pumpkin apple is gonna smell like red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove. So, love this one too. Another favorite is my leaves candle. So I've probably been burning this one the most this season. It smells really nice. It, the fragrance notes for it is crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Very nice. The packaging is also really, really pretty on this one. Looks like the bark of a tree. Really like that. Um, 
So that was my first order that I placed. I placed two separate orders um, online, Bath and Body Works. Um, I, or, I only order when they go on sale. Um, I think the original price is $24.50 on this one because the packaging is so pretty. $22.50 on the regular packaging. So I always get these when they're on sale. So I got them for $12.50 each. And then I order when I have a $10 off 30 coupon. And you can find those online. You just have to do a little work, but you find them $10 off 30, get them for $12.50 each. You can get three candles for a really good price. And my second order, when they went on sale again, I placed a second order and I picked up another leaves candle. See the packaging is different. Um, I guess they were sold out, or maybe this was the limited time packaging. Um, but I thought this one was uh, was real pretty as well. So that's the leaves and Cider Lane. Cider Lane is another one that I really like. Um, the fragrance notes for it are warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. So you can kind of see a theme: apple, clove, that type thing. This one smells a little sweeter. Um, so I'm not always in the mood to burn a sweet smelling candle, but it's not overly sweet. So it still smells nice, smells like fall. So I really enjoy this. So if you're looking for some new favorites and you haven't tried these, I recommend Cider Lane, Leaves, Pumpkin Apple, and Autumn. So those are my favorites for fall. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog for today, and I hope that helped to get you uh, excited about fall and some fall candles from Bath and Body Works, um, a quick trip in Target to look for pumpkin spice goodies, and of course Kirkland's is always fun for lots of holiday goodies. But those are three of the things that I love to do to help me get in the mood for fall, which you all know it doesn't take much to get me ready for fall. But I um, hope you enjoyed watching today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.